base and 7 can't see us yet. I don't know, something wrong with that. What's going on, people? Can y'all see us? Let us know y'all can see us. Uh, I, uh, I 
I don't know, I felt like one of them little, you want to receive more information, little things on the internet, and a recruiter called me, and uh, whoop de whoop made it happen, and that's how it happened for me, truck driving, but I had, oh, cool. I, I had to uh, into it, but. Thanks, thanks, thanks for your service, man. Yeah, man, uh, I loved it. Damn, my signal bad. I was there for four years, man, I loved it. I think we got a lost a little, oh, signal bad. Hopefully we're still good. But yeah, I got in the truck and off a fluke, so if you can learn anything about it before you get in, that's more better, uh, more better <laughs> for you guys. Pablo, Pablo said, uh, Jose had practiced on your jumping skills. Man, I was full that day, man. man. If y'all didn't watch that video, that video funny as hell. Man, I had a, I had a heavy ass breakfast. Jose jumped in slow motion. His ass barely came off the ground. <laughs> he busted his ass. That shit was funny. I was heavy that day, and I just woke up. He heavy every day. <laughs> what we got? What we got? Uh, Robert, my dad's a trucker. I've been in a truck since I was four. Oh, damn. Well, I mean, you probably destined to do it then. Yes. Yeah, uh, Next generation trucker right there. Yeah, it is. Easy. Way different than back I mean, then. You got a head start on the rest of us. You already been knowing about how trucks work and yeah. all that for you know, since a young age. You probably know more than me. It's a lot more likely that you'll succeed in it too. <laughs> Jay Rush said that blooper video was funny. Man, it ain't yeah, funny. Man. I busted my ass. That shit still hurt. I got a bruise on my thigh. We're going to bring more of those videos because Jose always messing up, man. We're going we gonna to make some more though. I'm going to catch him slipping all the time. I've been doing some crazy activities while the camera ain't in my, uh, my view. <laughs> I got a video I need to edit. Uh, you guys had wanted Jose to do the filming and everything, and he works the camera on this video. I'm going to up, post up for you guys, maybe today, maybe tomorrow, of this load that we got right now. Maybe we'll post so it today so y'all can be able to see it. Look for that video coming soon. He said, hey, Jose, what's up? Nice to see Randy driving for once. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah, he's driving. He's driving. His shit's about to be over, though. Yeah, only bit. got about 50 more miles or about 40 more miles to drive. Nah, he can take it. He can drive a little bit more. Further. But yeah, we drive shifts. I drive the early morning shift. He drive the afternoon shift into the night. He said, Paolo, he didn't even take flight when he jumped. He didn't. Because <laughs> it, uh, it was fucking wet. I didn't get a good grip on the fucking floor. It was a little wet, that's why I, I thought if he would have hit the top of that, he would have failed too. Yeah, if I think it was I wet on top. So flip. it's a good thing that he fell where he did, because if he would have fell on top, he probably would have fell backwards. It would have been even more funny. But I don't need him getting hurt out here. I need him to be able to drive. He said, uh, Orlando, he said, what's up guys, where y'all headed to? Nothing much, Orlando, what's going on? We on our way to New York, to Syracuse, uh, upstate New York, way up top. Yeah, NYC. Pretty close to Canada. Uh, Jason 77, you guys come to this man, point, point? Des Moines? Yeah. No, we're not going to Des Moines right now. We're in uh, Arkansas. We're going to be cutting up through Tennessee and uh, probably uh, Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania. We're going to go up that way. But we're, not, uh, we're not close to Iowa right now. Iowa. But we do go through Des Moines. Robert, what are what they, I think the best truck to drive? What is the best truck to drive? The best truck to drive? Shoot. Take your pick. They all pretty much run about the same nowadays. It's not about preferences well, nowadays. Yeah, it's more of a preference. They they all got like a they drive a little bit different on a comfortable. Okay. I can't okay. never talk, man. I can't you say mean, words right. You mean comfortable? Uh <laughs> I don't know. It's like a car, man. You know, you, you got yeah, Ford, yeah. you got Chevy, you got. Once Cadillac. you drive a few trucks, you start seeing which one you prefer more. Like the Peterbilt, it's a more smoother ride than the Freightliner Cascadia. It's what a lot of people say, and uh, that's what I think. So it's easier for the, to sleep while the truck is moving. Uh, but if you're solo, it's just a little less bumpy ride, a little more smoother. And I think it pulls better, and I think the Jake brake holds a lot better. Oh yeah, the Jake brake is pretty good. I don't know. My, I like my truck. Uh, the Freightliner. The Freightliner is pretty spacious. I mean, it's 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 pretty spacious in there, and they got a good cabinet set up. Uh, the Volvo is like got a big bed, and it's got a whole bunch of cabinets and stuff. Nice setup. And I heard they like drive real smooth and real great to drive. All right, let me get, let me catch up to these comments because they're slipping away from me, people. Slipping away. Uh, Jason seventy seven. 
when you guys come to Des Moines, let me know. My wife and I will take you out for dinner. Cool. In that case, we stop. <laughs> cool, man. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, we come through on a during the daytime or something. But yeah, we do. We definitely come through there on 80. Sometime uh, coming up 35. I think it's 35 to go through there. But yeah, uh, man, I gotta I gotta start right now. Where are you guys from? Uh, yeah. Uh, text Randy. So everybody's in Facebook. different different places. It's like hey, stop here, stop there, and. I be forgetting who's where and, and when we have time here. And there. when we do fucking uh, go to a place, and we'll be like, man, I think some people live here. And yeah, like, we, we already we fucking we're real way in that state. Yeah, and then we'll be gone. We'll be gone and stuff. But yeah, definitely, man, we'll, we'll give you a holler. Uh, yeah, just text Randy on his Facebook and stuff. Maybe. Yeah, just hit me up on Messenger or something. Yeah. And, Once y'all uh, know we're going a certain way. That was for Jason 77. Hill Billy for life. You guys know how much about Royal Transport? Transport. I'm starting class in Gary, Indiana, on the sixth of February. Now I don't know a lot about Royal, but I knew. Uh, I, I do see their trucks a lot, and uh, I had a buddy. His dad had drove for him on the flatbed side, so I think that was a pretty good company to drive for. So but I haven't actually Texas? looked into them. Is it? I, I think so. In, I think that was in Texas and Dallas. I think. I'm I think sure. they got a drive-in side and a flatbed side. But uh, I think it'd be a good company. I know this because I applied back. You applying for them? Yeah, back in the day. They got a Texas regional, but it's just only like, only Texas. Like, they don't get out of Texas at all. And well, Texas is a big state, so. Well, yeah. if you stay in Texas, then there you go. You can, you can stay right there in home state. Yeah. Might be a good company, good fit for you. Clorox Bleach. You want me to, you want me to, you want me to say what Clorox Bleach is? What do you say? <laughs> Howdy, guys. What's going on, man? Uh, I'm not sure who you are. Wasn't trying to talk to noise about you last time. Just caught me off guard with your comment. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that comment. It was, it was probably a typo. No, I don't think it was. <laughs> <laughs> Robert, Robert, what's going on, Robert? What's I up, live Robert? just up uh, I 65. I can see it right from my house. Huh? He says, Robert says, uh, I live just off of uh, I 65. I can see it right from my house. I can see, see the I 65 right off his house. Cool, 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 cool. Nice. Orlando, what's going on, Orlando? That right, video with uh, lifting weight seems he needs more food, but Jose could go more. Yeah, hey, I could go more. I ain't try to. I'm not going for the muscle, get all big and stuff. I'm going like for like get cut kind of situation. That's what I'm getting at. But it's just, I don't know. My problem is not working out. My problem is eating healthy. That's one of my big issues. I cannot eat healthy for some reason, man. I think that's the working out. I can do workout every day if I can. But just, yeah, when we switch over and get our next truck, I'm gonna try to put a big fridge in there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best to get a cabinet taken out, and I'm gonna put a college fridge in there. If I do that, our eating is gonna change drastically, and uh, I'll show you exactly. And he got a meal prep, like so he meal preps and stuff that he I might used teach to do. Me that. And I get him, I get him good on the eating, so he he won't have nothing to worry about on that. But right now, our fridge is so small, it's hard to keep the kind of food I want to keep for two yeah, people. Yeah, it's real small. I don't have enough time to stop as much and buy food. It was easy back in the day when I was doing it when I was solo because I could keep more food for myself. Uh, I've uh, seen from students that I've trained that come out of that type of program. And I think it'd be better if you go to a major company that has a trucking school. You're only required to stay pretty much one year wherever you go and the year goes by like that. Yeah, man, And then you, know you can go that. wherever you want after you get that year in experience. Now you're not gonna make a killing over that year, but at least you'll get some good experience driving you gotta sacrifice yeah. being over the road. Yeah. yeah, you gotta start off somewhere, right? Yep. Uh, T. Robbins, y'all teaming? Yep. We teaming, all right. We teaming. Yeah, we teaming. We out here. We Rob doing it. We've been teaming. I mean, you, you call it training, but we already been teaming. We Robert said, team. Robert said, uh, what kind of country do you like? You guys like traveling in? Uh, I like traveling in dry, warm, country keep us in the <laughs> south below i-40 <laughs> nah i mean i like going all over when it's nice weather when it's nice weather i don't care i go anywhere in the united states it's nice everywhere uh but i prefer the south I'm, I'm from the south i prefer the south i don't like the northeast <laughs> Flores, i was advertising bleach and it wasn't that you you guys know what it can be used for <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know about that, brother. Advertising, let us know what we can use it for. I use it for mopping my floors and cleaning stuff around the house. Jose might use it for what you were saying. I don't know. What the hell? Hell no. <laughs> I 
Alex, do you have, uh, do they have a solo company drivers at Prime? I have five months flatbed experience, but in, in doubles. Yeah, they got solo company drivers. Yeah, they got solo reefer drivers. They got they solo got flatbed solo drivers. They got solo I mean, tanker drivers. If you're from Texas, you can get on the Texas Regional as a company driver and do pretty good on the flatbed division. Yeah, you can drive them. over the road as a company flatbed driver too. They definitely got solo every division. Yeah, they got solo every division. Tanker, reefer, and flatbed. Uh, let us know about the signal. How we looking on signal wise? Are we? We good, we kinda in the city now, but it's still saying I got bad signal, I don't know. Lil Rock ain't, uh, it ain't agreeing with my AT&T right now. Uh, t Robin said, be, uh, be, bet. Hopefully I catch you on the road one day, I'm out of Houston. What part of Houston are you from? Uh, Robin? Uh, Robert, where are you guys going today? We headed to New York, Syracuse. Going to New York? We'll be there in the morning. We're in Arkansas right now, but we'll be there. About 9 o'clock in the morning, drop off. This load we got. Alex Paul, what's going on Alex? He said, uh, I'm from California. What's up Alex? Yeah, I love Cali. I know, we haven't been out there in a while. I like Cali, but I hate it because you gotta go real slow. I think it's what, 55? Man, it sucks. Cali is, they need to get like, uh, what was it, Oregon that changed the speed limit for trucks? Man, you gotta go 55 and I-10. Like, yeah, they need, oh, they need to up that speed limit. That 55 is too damn slow. You gotta go through all that Mojave Desert and I, stuff. This truck's are going to 65, 64, and I think that's still slow, but it's safe. But 55, man, y'all killing me. Yeah. Y'all killing me with that 55. You didn't signal good. All right, thanks you, Oscar. Yeah, we are cool, cool. in the city, right? Yeah, we on, we in Little Rock. We on Little Rock, so uh, hopefully. It's we on the outskirts of Little Rock right now. Yeah, hopefully they stay like this. Man, that rain didn't pick up. That might be what's affecting someone. Are oh, you from Northside, uh, T. Robbins? Spring area? Oh, okay. I'm from the... Uh, Houston I, boys in the house. Yeah, I grew up in the Northside. Uh, born, in, born, in, uh, born and raised on the Northside, but now I live in the Northwest side. Up, up there, up at 290. Alex said it. Alex, well, I, go, I go 61 miles an hour. Man, that's, that's slow. In Cali, you go 61? Oh, in Cali, you go 61? Hey, I do the same, man. You just gotta watch out for them, uh... California Highway Patrol. I might go three over, but it is, and it's still scary for me because man, I ain't trying to get pulled over. Yeah, I don't, I don't. Only in the city, I might go a little faster. Oscar, I am from Houston. What part? Of, what part? Of, uh, what part of uh, Houston? You stay oh, we at? got another Houston in the house. Boy, the Houston boys represent. Yeah, we stay repping, man. H Town, baby. Yeah, what's, oh, what side of Houston you stay at, Oscar? Yeah, keep on letting let me know about that signal because I ain't trying to lose y'all already. Really. Because it is kind of raining a little bit, so I know that that yeah, might that rain and picked up. Yeah, that rain might uh, cause, a, cause some of the signal and stuff. I'm not sure if y'all can hear it on the phone. Y'all probably can hear the rain hit the window. Yeah, y'all probably can hear something. A little sprinkling. Yeah, that's Uh, 50, uh, uh, and going over 55 miles an hour and there was a cop with that 
that gun. He didn't even say nothing to him. Yeah, I guess. Well, if you ain't really at a certain amount, they they won't mess with you. I don't think they looking for like, like extra people like, who are like speed speed. Like over ten, maybe like over seven, yeah. maybe something like they that. They looking for them cars that's blowing real fast, or them trucks that's going ten to fifteen miles over. Oh, Austin, awesome. you live in Victoria side. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I never been on that side, but yeah, Where? I know Victoria. Houston? Yeah, Houston. Oh, okay. I know it's exactly what that is. Oh, uh, Houston boy? Yeah, another Houston boy. Houston? Boy, they hot heavy today. Oh, the signal be coming very good. Okay, cool. Thank you, man. Oh, yeah, it just got a little better. We, we more into the city now. Robert, I think my the truck, my bad, is driving this. It's driving at 71 miles per hour. Man, that's... Well, you're rolling. Yeah, yeah, you're rolling. You're you rolling at 71? Oh, shoot. I wish this truck could go 70 sometimes. He wanted to get through some... Some boring spots. Madison, Milton, what's up, guys? Arkansas in the house. What's going on, man? What's up, Madison? Arkansas. Dinero. What up? Or uh, what about ordering your truck? Huh? He said, what about ordering your truck? I think he asked about the uh, pimping on your ride. And yeah, you can customize it when you order. You got to pay extra to when you order it. So if you want to have like certain type of interior done or cabinet set up. Or extra lights put on the outside or graphics and all that you got to pay up front through why you when you order your truck to have that done but you can do that while you're ordering your truck uh orlando rain 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 be careful guys yeah raindrop oh yeah <laughs> drop top <laughs> raindrop rolling through arkansas uh chloride please what's that you should uh i ain't gonna say all that man come on now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's blasting again. He said, Jose, you should bleach your hair. Man, you trying to make, make you look like Chris Breezy. Man, you gonna have that blonde hair. I ain't trying to bleach nothing, man. Man, I'm telling you, man, forget about that Clorox bleach, man. They ain't pay you that good to represent Clorox. And if they are, let me know, because I'll represent Clorox shit. <laughs> Fabuloso over here. Let me know about that signal, guys. It's a company check out of company truck out of Blast Oil. I don't know what he's talking about, Robert. I think he was talking about, uh, oh, he's truck. Oh, okay, I'm talking about your company at the, at the okay, I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. What else we got here, guys? What else we got? Man, this rain has stopped raining for a little bit now. It ain't raining. No, man, it sucks we caught up to this rain. We was rolling good. It was clear skies. It ain't raining. The rain was like nowhere in sight. Now we caught up to it, and uh, now we're probably going to be riding in it for a while because we're like on the back end and we're going into it. So if it's moving the same way we're moving, it's just going to suck. It's a day. What part of H Town are you from, Jose? Man, I'll stay off of 290 and West Road on north, Northwest Side. That's where I stay at. 290, West Road. Honda dealership in the corner. There's a Bud, Bud Light and Budweiser company right, uh, right in front of us. And that's my apartment right behind that Honda dealership. Damn boy, you should give me your address out on YouTube. That's a lot of apartments there, Randy. It's not just <laughs> like bam, bam, and bam, and bam. Oh, uh, Robert, how long do you, how long do Brian keep experienced drivers in orientation? Everybody uh, goes to orientation for a week. For it's, for, it's a uh, Monday through Thursday. Yeah, Monday through Thursday, I think by Friday you should be rolling. Yeah, by Thursday you should have your truck. If not, by Friday. If, yeah. you're, if you're getting a truck, like you're experienced, then you're getting a truck. Yeah, it's pretty fast. It's, it's not a... Well, it, ain't, it ain't that fast, but it ain't that fucking slow either. Yeah. Chloride, chloride speech. I accidentally... Man. <laughs> he only want to read it. Chloride speech. They should have a warning label from for that. Man, I don't, Man, what the fuck? <laughs> what the... I don't even know. <laughs> Robert. Man. It's blue skies here in Kentucky, man. Cool. Nice. Cool. Okay. Well, I think it's storms coming your way, maybe. I don't, I don't know. I have to look at the radar whenever I finish driving. We looked at the radar last night. It looked like it was heading. It was going out already. I'm back. I'm ready to be back in some clear sky. I hope it's a uh, nice weather. We get up to New York and it ain't too damn cold. I hope it ain't that cold. You know, no slippery roads and stuff. But yeah. How's the signal, people? How's the signal? Because over here is letting me know that it's kind of static and stuff. Man, this rain's still dropping. Rain drop. Drop top. Yeah, if y'all are people from New York, y'all know from a good place to eat, let me know. Some healthy good place to eat. <laughs> In Syracuse. Syracuse, New York. We'll, we'll be up there.
there. We, we might have time to go eat. We might not. Yeah, we might. We just might be dropping off and going right to our next pickup. Pierre, what's up? What's up, Pierre? What's going on, Pierre? Welcome to the party. G Ryan, Texas boys, we gotta link up. Oh, I have no doubt about it, man. Texas boy all the way. H time holding down. My rocks looking pretty good. I think they got beat by the Warriors in this last game, but uh, we be all right. I don't know about them Texans though. Man, we got like what, four H Town boys now? Yeah, we got a. Uh, I'm so about the H Town. There's the three of them and yeah, one of you. I got the H Town boys in this H Town uh, representing where everybody else from? Anybody, uh, where we got the most people? H Town representing the most? We got, some, te we got some Texas boys in the house? Nicholas wearing seatbelts. Oh, That's shit. not an H Town? I thought I had it on, man. My fault, my fault. Thank, thank for the head up. I <laughs> slipped on that one because I had, we had style going to the restroom, but uh, I forgot to put it on. My fault. It's back on, baby. Alex, I'm off to, I'm off to a further notice here in Cali, no freight. Oh, damn. What you drive, flatbed, uh, reefer, driver? Let me know. Pablo, Randy, I'm in, I'm new to your channel. Tell me more about yourself besides being Steph Curry, Longshot, cousin. <laughs> <laughs> He's a live brother. He's a live brother. Shoot, uh, more about me. I'm married. I got four kids. I'm He's from married. Texas. He got four kids. I've been He's driving trucks since 2010. I've been training guys since 2010. Shit, I'm a country boy from East Texas. I live in the city now because my wife's a city girl. I mean, shit, what, what you want to know? Scott, is it raining here in Mississippi? Oh, damn, it's raining in Mississippi? Yeah, I think it's raining. It's scattered showers across the country over here on the East Coast and uh, pretty much a lot of areas over here going east. But they all come through Texas. All the people was there. Michael, it's 60 here in Southern Ohio, man. That's, that ain't bad at all. 60, I could do 60? 60. Well, it's 55 here. I mean, it's raining, but it's 55. It ain't that bad. It's, it's snowing. And, oh, damn, it's snowing over there in fucking, uh, what's it called? New York? Uh, it's well, snowing in New York? Yeah, we're oh, going shit. to deliver it. I hope it ain't the snowing same, uh, the same thing's gonna deliver. tomorrow. I hope, it, I hope that snow's gone. Pierre, I, get, I didn't get no on. notification. You get a notification when we going live? I think he had posted on Facebook, too. Well, I posted, I mean... I, I was gonna notify everybody a little early on Facebook, but I wasn't sure we was going live. I mean, we were just rolling. Jay Money, what's up, guys? Harlington, Texas, in the house. Man, we got a lot oh, of man. Texas. Harlington, Harlington, I know where that's at. I used to live in Brownsville. My wife got family from McAllen and Brownsville down in South Michael, Texas. He's from Port Smooth, Ohio. Cool, cool. Ohio. Cool. Ohio. Ohio, Ohio in the house. house. Yep. We got about five or six people from Texas. I think Texas is representing the biggest right now. He said, Robert said, uh, you guys might meet my dad on the road. He's headed to New York. Oh, okay, cool. What does he drive? Yeah, what is, what is he, uh, who he drive for? What does he pull? Yeah. Jay Rush, what part of M.A. Scott? I'm really, oh, he must have been talking to one of the other drivers in this conversation. Alex Paul, flatbed doubles. Is that the one in Cali that's yeah. uh, stuck right now? You pulling doubles, flatbed? What you, what you pulling, like hay and uh, lumber or something out there in Cali? Local driver? Some, uh, some Dallas here. GSXR guy 08. Dallas here. Okay, cool. Oh, we got Dallas in the house. I'm Fort Worth. I got family in Dallas. River Shine said, all about that Mississippi. Mississippi in the house, represent. Is it David Bannon from Mississippi? Yeah, somewhere over there. Georgia, Mississippi, somewhere, something like that. Everybody repping their home state. Yeah, everybody, everybody repping their home state. Got Kansas in the house. Uh, what's that? No, no, Fitty said Reaper or Flatbed Docks. Huh? He said Reaper or Flatbed. Who? Uh, like Reaper or Flatbed, what? Docks. He said just like any Docks. Oh, Docks? Yeah, Docks. I mean, I'm all about the Flatbed. I'm only going Reaper because uh, we team it up and it's, I can do a little better on the Reaper side. That's the only reason I'm going Reaper. Because uh, I don't really like Reaper because it is a little boring, but it's more of a money thing right now. But I'm all about the flatbed because I like the full flatbed and oh, it's Connecticut, fun. Connecticut in the house. All right. Brownsville, Texas in the house. Oh, shit. What y'all got oh, yeah, on the There's a lot, it's a, it's a lot I can do in the flatbed, so I say flatbed over here. Uh, t Ryan, what's your thoughts on the oil field picking back up? They are in different parts. We was out in uh, Odessa and uh, yeah, it's, it's we said a lot of right. jobs, like uh, people advertising for jobs. I mean, he got some contacts in the oil field, been telling them the oil field's picking yeah, up. Yeah, I used to work for Halliburton, so uh, 
Yeah, yeah I heard it's picking back up. My in brother, Texas, I think the oil field's picking up a little bit. Picking back up, slowly but surely. Slowly, yeah, slowly. It's gonna get back up. I think the fracking's picking more than, more up than actually the drilling part. Oh yeah, it's the fracking. What up? Keep up with the good work. Fam, been watching it for him. For been watching for a minute. Okay, cool, cool. cool appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. CRTV. Orlando Day, message retracted. I don't know. Oh, he must have deleted. Well, we got a. Where are you headed to, uh, Michael Brown? Brown is New York. New York. Syracuse. Uh, Pierre says Dale Clay was in Laredo yesterday, I think. Dale Clay. I think, yeah, Dale Clay. I watched his YouTube. Yeah. He worked for Maverick. Okay. But Orlando said, uh, you live near Arizona? Oh, he was talking to some other driver on his message. Okay. Uh, Texas boy taking over. Yes, we are taking over this man. channel. Texas representing big. Texas is a big state, man. Maryland in the house. Oh, shit. We got Maryland in the house. Jamaican in the house, man. <laughs> that uh, old boy from uh, the, the Bermudas. That's Orlando Delay. I guess he's from Jamaica. Okay. My homeboy's from Jamaica. We started here at uh, Prime the same time. Went through the PSD program together. We stayed friends to this day. He's on operator right now. David Bradley from Jackson, Mississippi. Oh yeah, I know he was from Mississippi. Oh, I know okay. what place from Jackson. Yeah, I know what I said. Yeah, Cadillacs on twenty two. It's Arkansas, bro. Man, I must have said that wrong. It's Arkansas. Boy, what was you saying? I think I must. I must. Arkansas or something? Say, I must say something wrong. Oh, am I saying it wrong? Arkansas. Different type of load, so you should be able to find some type of security video that can help you out until I get back in the flatbed. Man, I'm trying by this time next year or something to be back in flatbed. So hopefully I'm not going too long into the reefer side. Then I jump back in, pick up where I left off, and hopefully make some cooler and better videos on the flatbed side. Tommy said, Randy, what kind of trailer are you thinking about uh, once you go on the rock? If I get back into the flatbed like I want to, I want to pull a stretch either uh, probably a 55 ton because I want to do oversized and specialty loads of that sort and then I want to work my way into bigger stuff uh, Scott said what football team you want to see in the Super Bowl man I gave up on football man <laughs> I gave up on football I love football but who, man, who's you know, still in it right now yeah uh, keep me updated because man we don't got we can't really get yeah, updated it's hard so. to keep up with stuff because I ain't got the satellite TV yet and I don't like listening to everything on the radio TJ What's going up, brother? What's going on? Gary. What's up, TJ? Gonna take all these years. Oh, he, he took that off. He must have misspelled it. Jeffrey. Say hi to Jeffrey, man. He said hi. What's up, Jeffrey? <laughs> he said it all, man. Like, say hi to Jeffrey. I say hi to Jeffrey, man. He's, he's, in a, he's in a house, man. He's at the house, man. I want to be back at the house. Jeffrey, Wolf. Yeah, man, I don't know about the I don't know about the Super Bowl, man. I just whoever wins wins, you know what I'm saying? My team's out, so I don't really uh keep up with it now. I was going for the Houston Rockets. I mean I said Houston Rockets. He was going for the Houston Rockets in the Super Bowl, y'all. Nah, I was going for the Houston <laughs> Texans. And uh they got out then uh and Dallas. Dallas did a hell of a Dallas did a hell of a job, man. Dallas just did a hell of a job. Good uh, man, they did a hell of a job and just ran out of time and that's what it is. Jason said, see you guys, man. See you, man. Peace out, Jason. We almost up here at the truck stop. I got some fuel. He said Green Bay gonna take, gonna run through the uh, gambit and take over. You think Green Bay's gonna win? Uh, is the Patriots still in it? It's probably gonna be out of the Green Bay and Patriots. He said, what up, Reef Side? Hey. Reef Side? That's what they We're about to be rapping pretty soon. Reef Gang. <laughs> Michael, Michael said, "Was well, it how did you uh, talk? To, uh, to, uh, how did you talk Randy into driving?" Man, this is time, people. Man, y'all keep saying Randy don't drive. Man, Randy drive, people. It's just that I drive. We just drive shifts. Yeah, we drive specific shifts. I don't do uh, a lot of. You drive your shift, and then I stop, and then you start. We stay in a certain time frame, and we roll between those hours when it's our shift, and we pretty much stay both driving pretty good. PSA Patriots. Patriots. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Tommy said, I think I'm the only one watching this at the East Coast. From the 
from the East Coast? Where you at? What part of the East Coast, man? Somebody already said Connecticut and Maryland, so we got two people on the East Coast. I'm in the KY, he said Gary. We got some people in Cali. What other, do we have any more West Coast or Midwest or anything? I mean, we got like the South, the Northeast, and then we got the South West. Robert said, my dad's thinking about buying a truck used to be an owner of, but he sold it, but he wants to get a 379 extended hood. Man, cool. Nice. Cool, That's a nice man. truck. Real nice truck. That's a nice truck. TJ, where y'all at? We in Arkansas, Little Rock. We're gonna be rolling through Tennessee here in a few hours. Alex said, Alex said, have a safe drive, y'all. I'm, I'm a go. Peace out, Alex. Deuces. Uh, little lip, little lip, little fitty. Are y'all gonna reef it because they have miles right now? Yeah, we gonna reef. Yeah, we gonna reef it because I can get more miles and more revenue as yeah. a team. And then I don't have to, because flatbed, it's hard to get those miles and revenue because we don't run as much. You got to stop, you got to unload, you got to load. That takes a lot of hours away from driving. And then we don't deliver or pick up on the weekend, so that takes even more time away. We're limited to Monday through Friday during the daytime, but we don't pick up and deliver at night a lot of places. So our, our window is very small on the flatbed side for a team. So a reefer is 24-7. Seven days a week, I can pick up, deliver, and we can run. So it's a lot better chance that we can do a lot, do a lot more on reefer side. Garage bleach, man. I'm gonna skip your message because there ain't no words in it. Just emojis, and I'm gonna skip that. <laughs> and I'm not read them emojis. Yeah, I go to Pork Chop Express. I live in Jersey, man. Jersey in the house. Pork Chop Express. Ernie said, "What's up, man?" Who's what's Ernie? Up? Yeah, what's going on, Ernie? What's up? Jersey in the house. Another Jersey? Yeah. Two jerseys in the house. We got a lot of jersey people here too, bro. Man, I hate going to Jersey. I get lost. It sucks getting a big truck up there getting lost, man. The guy said, what is the average reefer load paid to the driver? Oh, I think Boy Chop said that. He said 72%. Yeah, they all, everything's 72%. But uh, of course, the loads are going to pay uh, somewhat decent for your week. It just depends on where you're at, what you're picking up. Protos pays pretty good. And Brodus is about to pick up here in the spring, so it's gonna be great. Uh, Porchop, do you drive for Brian? I don't know, I ain't. You might. You might, yeah. Pierre said, Clara, are you gay or something? Cause you <laughs> say some dumb shit, to be honest. <laughs> I don't oh, know, shit, man. He just Pierre. got some picture of a Clorox in his profile picture. I don't know what's up with that. I don't know, he just something else. He's a, he's watching our YouTube, man. You know, keeping hey, up Hey, man, there. appreciate you watching, though, man. Yeah, yeah, appreciate you watching. Hit the like button, subscribe. Keep people no, on. No, no more shade issue, man. Just keep it, keep it uh, PG-13 uh, or rated R, but not... Yeah, we, we got 16-year-old kids in the building, man. Yeah, maybe we got little kids watching our channel trying to be drivers, and you're coming up with these emojis that are... I don't know what's up with that, man. <laughs> Gary said Green Bay, Atlanta's, Steelers, and... Packs. Oh, yeah, Atlanta pretty good right now. They might be, they might be going. I don't know. I don't know. I gotta see. I gotta see a game. See what uh, what are my thoughts on the uh, Super Bowl. When's the next game? Who playing? We might, today. We might, we might today is Sunday. Football Sunday. Oh yeah, today is Sunday. Yeah. Well, we ain't gonna have time to stop and watch the game. When I woke up, I thought today was Monday. Shit. I know we had our days all mixed up this weekend. Uh, Michael, does Prime Inc. require you to have a hazmat to, to do reef aside? I heard both on. on Facebook. Company driver, yeah, they require you to have a uh, hazmat. As a lease operator, you don't have to, because I still don't have my hazmat, and I've been working out of crime for four years. I had my hazmat, but I let it go when I got out of trucking for a little bit, and I haven't got it back. But uh, they do require you to have a hazmat, especially on the company side. But at least side, you, you don't have to take a hazmat load if you don't want to, so you don't need a hazmat. Uh, poor child said, uh, you have to get, get it lost. It's fun to get test your skills, getting out of Getting out, yes, I drive for Prime. Yo, he drives for Prime. Who? What did he say? He drives for Prime. I know. What else is it? He said, they'll get a loss. It's fun. It tests your skills. Oh, shit. I ain't trying to get a loss. Well, get all that testing your skills when you, you're going down roads where it could be a low bridge and, and you're nervous as hell. Are you going up to 81 to uh, Syracuse, New York? No. No, we're not going to 81. We're going through Indiana and Ohio. We're going to end up catching uh, 90 up in Ohio. And we're going to go up through uh, Buffalo. Lars, please. Uh, I think he replied to Pierre's message. I'm straight, but I take some some herbs. I don't know what that means. 
don't know what you mean by curves, man. Let's go to number two. You all right? Oh, I used to drive on the YouTube, but I lost interest. Oh, oh I used to do videos on YouTube, but I lost interest. Yeah, it's hard, man. I see Randy doing the videos. It's just like, it's a, it's yeah, hard to edit and put yeah. it on YouTube. And, uh, it's a lot in to stay motivated to want to edit the video because sometimes it takes a lot of time and you just don't feel like it. Robert, I think I've been, job. I've been to, to almost every state expect, except my wife. Me and my dad just got back from Alaska. Oh, just got back from Alaska. Wow. Oh, man, y'all been, uh, y'all been traveling. Wow. That's pretty cool. I want to go to Alaska. I want to go to Hawaii. That's pretty cool. You've been everywhere. Yeah, young said, age, that's real good. They said, I said all that, but chill out with that. Man, you need, you need to chill out with that. <laughs> yeah, Jersey sucks to drive, even in a car. I drove straight truck, and, and it still sucks, especially in Florida. New York? New York, I think that one. Right? Oh, yeah, I said it too. Ernie said it. Huh? Ernie said it. So I called the uh, Sisbergs. Oh, cool, cool, man. Cool, cool. Jason, what's up, homie? Leaving for a TNT train a couple hours. A couple hours ready to make that sh money. I think I said that. Sh cool, money. man. Cool. You already on the TNT phase, so you good to go. T. Robin said, "I'll be in Atlanta later. I'll be in Minnesota." Cool, man. Cool, Minnesota. Man, you up there? But I bet it's cold over there. We was right next to Minnesota. We was in all. Uh, yeah, we was in North Dakota. North Dakota, and it wasn't that bad. Like oh, that, was, what I thought it was. When we was up there, it was good. It was perfect weather, no worries. Yeah, it was a little snow here and there, but it wasn't snow. It was just on the road. And the truck stop pack. Glory, I said, always gotta have a, a fresh supply of bleach. Yeah, for your clothes, you know. If you got white clothes, white socks, you know, cut, you know, get them stains out. <laughs> I shouldn't be asking this, but what's your thoughts on the new president? Pierre said. <laughs> oh, Trump? I ain't got no thoughts on him. I mean, he ain't affecting me. I ain't worried about it. I mean, we gonna see how things go. I doubt it's gonna affect me and my pay and my family. I mean, I'm. Taking care of my family, so I'm doing all right. Yeah, man, it's always something when when we get a new president in the house, you know. I mean, I'm with. I'm. I want to see if it's gonna help me out. If it's gonna make things better, then great. More power to him. But I ain't got no thoughts one way or another toward him. Yeah, I know some people are just mad about the whole situation, but uh, yeah. I'm not really a uh, what's called a politician. Yeah, or? I'm not into politics like that. Yeah, I'm so not I don't really anything. speak on it or say stuff. It draw too much. Uh, Negative stuff anyway. What the fuck is this guy doing? I don't know, but he's backing up like crazy. Man, I wish I could return. Man, what the fuck is this guy Can doing? I turn this camera around? No, nah, uh, I can't turn it around now. Robert said, if y'all take 65 through Ken Kentucky. Through Kentucky? Uh, we. Uh, yeah, we are going through Kentucky. We're probably going to go right up through uh, Lexington. He backed up, but he's one hell of a backer. Though. Come on out of there, man. Yeah, we're going to cut up from uh, Nashville. We're going to cut up 24 and we'll probably catch uh, 65 over there somewhere. But what we, we're going up through there. It'll probably be in the middle of the night when we go through there, though. Uh, Lil Finney said, what's your dream truck, both of you? Mine is, man, I don't got a dream Mine truck. Mine is a W900 Kenworth. And I want to have it uh, set up for heavy haul, 20,000 pound front axle, three axle drive on the back. And I want to have a, either a, a trailer, a regular flatbed trailer with like four axles, or I want a low bar RGN. Hey, hello, Wolf said, how Stretch. you got? Jeff said, Wolf, how are you guys doing? Man, we're doing pretty good. You know, I'm doing good because I'm already in the passenger seat, so I'm doing good. <laughs> I'm doing hella good. Uh, Gary says, uh, Stillers and Pats at. 1830 Eastern. Okay, cool. Hopefully we can we can catch it on the satellite radio station station. So it's your back maneuvers. P Pierre said that. Man, we had a truck stop. We can't back right now. We about to switch. Uh, I ain't backing up right now. We showing. Uh, we about to switch. Uh, we about to switch. I'm about to take over the steering wheel. We don't really do a lot of backing because uh, we team driving. We do back, but when we go reefer. We gonna be doing a lot of backing. So I'm, I'm gonna definitely have a lot of backing videos. Cause I got a GoPro and uh, I'm gonna put it outside my truck, and we gonna film it like that. See how it go. Darius said, "What's up, man?" And X X. What's going on, Darius? XT said, "What up, guys? What up, going on, people? We are in YouTube. What's up? Live. What's up? I think I put these socks back. I don't mind. 
Nothing much, man. We're about to, bro, well, Randy's about to fuel up, and I'm about to jump in that seat and drive, and he's going to take over my phone and read the comments and let y'all talk with him for a little bit. Huh? Let me get this camera. I'll take y'all out there while I fuel. Jose, you want to take the camera out there? Oh, you want me to record you? While yeah. I fuel and stuff, and you yeah. can keep talking to the people? I'm like, we're going to show y'all what we do when we switch. All right, people. As y'all can see, we're the truck stop. Oh, shit. Yeah, there goes Randy's truck. There goes more trucks over there. There's a guy running. I don't know why he's running for. Oh wait, hold on. He's running. He's running. He's running. He's running. He's running. He's running. Oh, he's stopping. Yeah, he's walking out. Cut him on video. Yeah, bro. All right. Randy's over there filling up. I mean, get y'all to get a look. I I ain't reading the comments yet, so y'all have to chill with me on that one. He's filling up. Hold on, Randy. Oh, Rain drop. Drop top. Drop top. But let y'all see it random for a little bit. Yeah. Get us some diesel. Oh, you can go show on the low a little bit. Oh, yeah, I'm going to show you the low, people. We got some AC units. Of course, I think it's a part of the AC unit. I don't know really. I haven't hauled it. So today, we got some chains, more chains, some, uh, some ratchets. I'm working the camera, people, so y'all gotta chill with me. Uh, I, I, you have to see it, I think. Somewhere there. There go Randy. He's, uh, I think he's like 5'2". He look kind of tall on YouTube, but uh, he's, actually, he's actually real short. <laughs> Just don't say nothing. Don't say nothing, because he don't get mad at me and talk about his, his height. But all right, I'll show y'all. Man, this truck stops packed. I feel like everybody putting fuel on this truck side. <laughs> Rain drop, drop top. We uh, it's a little something. Y'all can see more trucks over there, fueling up and stuff. Yup, yup. I'm gonna uh, read the comments in a little bit because we're fueling up and we're about to switch. So hopefully it don't it don't take that long to fuel up and you know me take over and stuff. Y'all can see Randy fuel and fuel on that one right there. And uh, we're gonna walk to the other side and pull fuel on the other side. Man, I wish I could flip the camera so y'all could see Randy on action. They got the other side right there. Ooh. I'm in shorts, people. Shorts. I got the J's on. Let me see. Got the J's going on, the logo. Wait, hold on, where's that? Somewhere there. Oh, do y'all see it? Y'all see the J's? Man, I wish I could turn this camera around. It might have like a button where I could just switch it and stuff. What's but I'm gonna say I'm gonna let Randy take over for a little bit. Me, I'm trying to fuel. Man, I'm gonna fuel him. What's up? Which truck stop you go to? We had to pile it off of uh, 161 over here in Little Rock. Game is on the channel 225 on X Radio. Cool, cool. We're gonna try to catch that. I thought we were gonna read the comments when we start filming. Oh, you wasn't reading them? Still deck heavy. Man, we heavy as hell right now. We got 50,000 pounds on the deck. 3,500, man. 3,500. All that, all that stuff only weighs 3,500 pounds. You can see, you can see right through that first one right there. Right here. It's just an empty, pretty much housing. They're probably going to put a filter or a, a fan or something in it. But it's uh, super light. I got all these damn chains on this load. And it ain't even heavy enough for one chain to, one chain to hold the whole load. XM Radio is 225 and Sirius Side is on 81. Okay, well we'll check it out. We'll find uh we'll find one of them, find out which one it is. Not sure. Look at that money adding up. Trucking man. Spending money. About to fill this truck up. I had about a quarter tank, so it's probably gonna hold about at least 100 and 30 gallons getting it in anytime we stop you got to get after it put in work <laughs> Clarksville Arkansas oh okay you probably not that far from us then I think uh, you had mentioned uh, yeah you had mentioned on I think Facebook or something that you was going to Clarksville or you was gonna be in Clarksville 
He's just a, a workout machine today, going hard and heavy. Can you get serious? Yeah, I got serious XM in my truck. I pay for the service. I pay the one year service. I think every trucker should get it because it's boring as hell out here on the road. And if you ain't got nothing but regular radio, you ain't gonna pick up nothing but the local channels. And uh, somewhere, some places we go, them local channels ain't nothing. So you should definitely get the Sirius XM. I pay about $240 a year for the service because I got like the full service, everything. Gotta spend money to make money, definitely. That's the name of the game. You wanna make money, you gotta spend money. You got that right, Clorox. You gotta love them Laredo loads. Yeah, man, uh, I ain't never hauled this type of load out of Laredo before. This is pretty cool. Look at that money. $300 it's costing me on this load already. Still going. Trucking, trucking costs money, man. And I pay for the fuel as a lease operator, so whatever I spend, that's what's coming out of my check, my pocket. Jose getting the muscle so he can jump higher. He can't jump with his arms. He got he got to do some squats. Do some squats. Hold on, jump right here. Hey, on, I'll bust my ass. Look, he gonna jump right here. Go ahead and jump. No, oh, jump, man. jump up on top of it. In this way. Jump, jump up there. <laughs> he don't want to bust his ass. Hey, did that stop? Fill it all the way up. Yeah, fill up that side, I'll fill up the other side. Bad weather in Missouri. Yeah, it's bad weather everywhere right now. Uh, it was a storm that come across the Midwest. Two hours away. Oh, okay, pork chop. Jose well, got the Jordan socks, but can't jump for shit. <laughs> Jose, he said you got the Jordan socks, but you can't jump for shit. I ain't got my shoes on. He, what, what kind of shoes you got on? I think he got his uh his uh chucks on. You gonna put D right? Oh no, you got your Airman. Yeah, I'm gonna put D up. But uh, hold up. What's your fuel discount? Oh, uh, I gotta look at it. I think I'm getting uh like 200 some dollars for this load on my fuel surcharge. Damn, I got my shirt dirty. Was the load pay? Low pay pretty good, that's what it pay. Uh, I gotta look at it, I, I forgot. It was paying good. Oh, good for us here at Prime. Let me get back inside and look at it and, and I'll tell you. I'm trying to finish. Damn, where the, I think Jose left me. He went to go to the restroom or something. Let's view this uh, Low play. Bet he can jump over the over the curb. Yeah, you can jump over the curb. Uh, this DEF ain't no joke. It's hard as heck to pull this out. He got the mates too. Uh. Where Jose go? Oh, there you go. He ran in there to take a boo-boo. Quick one. Who was that say? What's up? What's up, CCRBT? Oh, what's going on, people? Hey, uh, what's that say? You can't even jump over the curve. Set <laughs> that. Clorox. H-Town. <laughs> when you gonna put chrome on the truck? Uh, Maybe the next truck. Maybe the next truck. Uh, I'm gonna start putting some stuff on my truck. Some lights. Once, uh, once I get my next truck. We definitely gonna uh, put something, I don't know. We, we might put some type of graphics or something. I ain't sure what, what, what all we gonna put yet. <laughs> DEF adding up on me too. It ain't a big hit though. That stuff lasts a long time. We broke already. I need to use some of them headphones. Yeah. Can I go check out the Amazon for my body? <laughs> He can't jump up a power box without falling off it. <laughs> oh, they be blasting you, man. What's that about? Oh, Pablo, Randy, you ever thought about doing a meet and greet? Yes, uh, I want to meet everybody, man. Uh, I would like to meet everybody. If I have the time and I'm in y'all's town, I do want to meet you guys, so that'd be cool. 
I ain't afraid to meet nobody, so it's just more of a time preference thing whenever we're coming through. But yeah, it'll be cool to, to meet everybody. I mean, I'm a I'm an easygoing guy, social and everything. I wouldn't mind meeting everybody. Uh, get those spikes too. Yeah, we're gonna put something on the tires. Definitely. I got spikes in my house. Definitely. We already uh, talked about getting getting that for the for the wheels. Everything locked up. You close that other side. Yeah. Oh, go ahead and pull up. What Pierre say? I'm just gonna pull up. I'm gonna shoot you my uh, decal for my page when I get them done. Okay. Cool. Be with us North side H Town in the house, Pablo. North side, yeah. Another H Town in the house, man. We holding it down big time for H Town. Boy, H Town is like the number one city in the in the house. I think we got a lot of Texans following. Is that the remedy? I uh, We can't put no music. Yeah, I can't put no more music on YouTube. We get copyrighted. I know. Uh, what's your next truck gonna be? It's gonna be a freight shaker. I'm hoping. Uh, hoping. That it's a 2018, the new the new model Cascadia Evolution. But we'll see. I'm not sure yet. Not 100% sure. But I definitely got to get it back into a bigger truck. This uh this truck just not enough room for me and Jose. That's the main reason I want to change trucks. Give me uh, change my my code. Huh? <laughs> Chubby Chaser stickers for the truck. Yeah, for Jose, man. Chubby Chaser. I I love Chubby. <laughs> Uh, Randy and Jose show on the side of the truck. Yeah, yeah, that might be the new title of uh, most of my videos and stuff when we uh, when we go reefer We yeah. might change it up and start uh, putting it as like the the Randy and Jose Ho Jose show the R&J show or something But yeah, I might put something like that on the side of the truck. That'd be pretty cool. You need this. How much is DEF? Uh, how much that I'm finna go inside and get my receipt. It's thirty thirty dollars. You finna go inside? Yeah. So I can see how much that was Go check that out. Costing me a good little penny. Fuel ain't cheap. It add up, but that DEF lasts, it lasts a long time. I thought only freight liners do that buzzing sound. No, that's most trucks. They all, uh, they all cycle through their stuff when you first turn them on. Oh, damn, I almost slipped. I know, I'm on feet wet, I'm slipping like crazy. Oops. How long have you been with Prime? Four years. Cuatro años. Four años. Cuatro años. Drop top. Alright people, I spent a... Uh, Four hundred and seven dollars. Three seventy-four on diesel. Thirty-two ninety-seven on DEF. It's a lot of money. You gotta go to the restroom. Or anything? You gonna get something to eat? Ready to roll? Yeah, I'm ready to roll. Uh, I'm gonna go to the restroom here. You wanna take the phone? Uh, do you always train at Palm? I did, but no, not no more. Oh, you said that more time. Or at least for now. So you two team drive. I thought you were a uh, trainer. Yeah, I am. I'm still qualified as a trainer and instructor and everything. It's just we finna team up, so uh, I'm not gonna be training until we split up. Hopefully uh, everything work out and uh, I won't be training no more. All right, going to the reefer side, money. We can run better than a flatbed, pretty much. Uh, on the reefer side, you run day and night, seven days a week. On the flatbed side, you run Monday through Friday during business hours like 7 a.m. to like 5 o'clock in the afternoon. So I can make a lot more revenue, we can get a lot more miles, so I can make a lot more money. Well, not a lot more money, but I can make more money. We uh, switching on March, right? Uh, I'm only messing with, 
2018 looks good, but I hope Prime don't get those flaps near the wheel that sticks out. Yeah, yeah, I, I think I know what you're talking about. That uh, that side piece. <laughs> C4 on you. <laughs> Can you make money leasing at Prime? Uh, heard a lot of horror stories about leasing. What do you think about it? Yeah, you can make money. Uh, I'm a lease operator at Prime. I know you can make money. Uh, it ain't gonna be like all the time great, especially if solo. But if you ever get into the teaming and training, you can definitely do good. What's going on, Isaiah? Give me a honey bun and Skittles. Sweet deal. All right, I'm gonna holler at y'all, man. I'm gonna rent the restroom let Jose go back to the truck. And then I'm gonna come back out there. There you go. What's going on, people? Y'all got me back again. They got the better, better guy on YouTube than Randy. I know he's whack. I don't know what he's talking about. Talking about he's spending so much money on diesel and DEF. Man, nobody want to hear that, Randy. Yeah, when he's talking about, uh, what y'all want to talk about, man? Let's not talk about trucks. Talk about something else. Talk about talk about women. Nah, I'm playing, I'm playing with y'all. talking about about women. Yeah, but it's my turn to drive, people. Man, fuck. Can't even fucking unlock the damn door. But it's my time to drive. Well, so Randy's done. He's over there taking a... I know for sure he's taking a fucking doo-doo. He ain't gotta take a goddamn piece. Over there taking a goddamn shit. Yeah, I'm back. I'm back. Yeah, I'm ready to drive. Get this over with. Oh, Randy over there taking a shit. I know he's taking a shit. Cause he took a piss like five minutes ago. I know for sure he's taking a goddamn shit. Man, what the? Ride truck, I'm about to turn on. Y'all about to hear this noise. Look, I hate that noise. Wait for it. Wait. That. Now, what the fuck? Uh, sign in real quick. The Qualcomm. Big as shit. We don't got something to mount this on. This is on literally on the floor. Randy said, uh, he took it back to Springfield. They said that they couldn't find something to put this big ass Qualcomm in. And I seen another truck, not the same of it, but uh, I seen another one where they had it here, but for some reason they can't put this somewhere in this truck. That's what he told me. That's what they told me when they first gave me the truck, but I seen other drivers with it afterwards, so I don't know. I mean, I don't know if they finally figured out where they can put it or what. What's been going on, what I missed? Uh, you can read my comments. All right. Uh. That's a drain, drain drop. Give me a honey bun and Skittles. Man, I'm broke. Plus, we laying out the sugar right now. We in a healthy thing going on. Just trying to go on. Thomas Powell, what's up, Jose? What's up, Thomas, man? You want to say what's up to me, man? Hold on, people. He said healthy, but we can lift this big ass bag. We got man, crunch. It's, it's empty. Yeah, because we finished it. Jose ate all that damn candy. I ain't, we'll none, I, I ain't eat none of that. We got Butterfingers, Crunch, Baby Ruth, some Nestles, and Shoes. Uh, I don't know what the fuck. But this shit got like a big ass bag of fucking chocolate. It's just like, we finished it all. Did you answer that, uh, Pierre? What, what, what type of women you like? I like Hispanic women. I love Hispanic women, man. I'm married to a Hispanic woman. I love Hispanic women. I'm actually, uh, I don't got preference in women. I dated all kind of race. Well, not all kind of race. I ain't trying to go all off of that. But uh, yeah, I love, I'm a chubby chaser. <laughs> I love chubby women. <laughs> I'm a chubby chaser. Robert. I played the American Truck Simulator game, uh, driving game. I've learned a lot about setting up for backing. Cool, that'd be perfect when you get into backing because so many people come into this field and they don't know how to back up. So the more you know about backing, the better. Especially uh, like that, you already got an idea of how to back up. That'd be great for you. You already got your hours ready? Yeah, I'm waiting for that. Did you put me off duty? Yeah, I think I did. Put me in sleep, bro. Okay, um. Uh, you're definitely the comic relief. <laughs> I'm talking about you. Rusty Sims, have a safe trip. Appreciate it, Rusty, man. If you're already gone. David Blackwell. How old is Jose? How old is he? How old do I look? look? How old do I look, young baby? We, we done this in another video. Most of y'all already know, but he probably don't know. So fresh, so clean, clean. Orlando, hey Jose, is that a uh, drop deck you guys have there? Step deck. Yeah, we got a drop deck, step deck, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, 53 foot, that's what we hauling right now. I don't know, I like the flatbed because it's low to the floor and 
I don't know, I just feel more safe. Three OG, three times OG. What's happening, Jose? What's going on, baby? What's going on, you two? <laughs> Gary Clark, stay safe, fellas, and keep it between the lines. Cool, Gary. What's we will on? do if you're already gone. Uh, Jamira. Uh, hello. What's up, Jamira? Patterson. Say what's up to Jamira. What's going on, Jamira? Rocking my shades. Man, I don't know about this, man. But, uh, I'll Pork chop. I stopped waiting for that, no, uh, that noise. I just start the truck. I always wait for it before I start it. I don't know. It's kind of a habit. Jose used to start it right before, but I don't know. I feel like uh, I feel like if I don't wait, it's gonna mess up something. Excuse me. I don't man. know. This is like a superstition. I'm sorry. What you saying? That noise. It goes. Brr, brr. Oh yeah, I told him that. And like, then you start. Yeah, I told him that uh, the, I'm about to, my turn is, my turn to, uh, drive, and I told him, look, I'm about to uh, turn the key on, and I hate that noise when it comes on. Is that dude uh -huh. behind us fueling? Yeah, he's fueling. He he could wait. I'm the new Trey song in this bitch. Yep. Cam Robinson Jose says, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I say what the fuck all the time. When I get mad, I be like, what the fuck? CCRBT. Can you stay busy on Riverside solo or is it like uh, hit and miss? Uh, I don't know. I ain't been reefer in a while. Solo, I, I'm pretty sure it's a hit and miss. It's a waiting game always on Riverside, so I don't think you're going to be staying that damn busy. I don't know about teams on the rift side. Says teams, you should be a little more busy. But we so should be long, rolling I'm sure, on it's not gonna, I'm sure it's gonna be hit and miss. Yep. T. Robinson, when y'all switching? We already switched right now. He about to start. He's just waiting on uh, uh his time to finish. Thomas Powell. Uh, better put some water on that shit. <laughs> Lucky motherfucker. Mofo. Isaiah twenty-three. Pierre, you're 25 and Randy 30. Pierre already know, man. You watched yeah, the other video, cheating, man. man. He, he cheated. cheated. He went back to the other videos. No, he ain't go back. He remembered. He, he cheated. Pierre, that was a free. Jose, 25, though. 25, baby. 25. Robert. Gotta be 26 Jose on March 3rd. looks 55. What the hell? <laughs> I'm just playing, man. He looks 25. <laughs> I'm a sex symbol, people. Jeffrey, 22. Jamira, how y'all doing? We doing good, man. We doing good. How you doing? Eat up. We over here in Arkansas, we just went uh switched. About to start rolling again, uh playing in the rain. I'm about to smoke me a cigarette ring. Clorox R37. <laughs> I'm rolling people, I'm rolling. Rocky, those shades definitely look better on Randy. She know what's up. Oh, Oh, this is my this is my shade. He got another pair that just looked just the same as his. Man, get out of I here. I got me a uh, Chris Breezy. No, I'm, shade. Finna, I'm finna get the Chris Breezy's, man. I'm finna get the Chris Breezy's. Let's see who rocked the better shades, me or Randy. Scott Harold, me too. Uh, pork top. It's pretty busy solo. Some loads are ridiculous. 500 miles, two days to deliver. Yeah, I know the, I know what you mean, man. Uh, Chip the dog. Uh, why don't you get your own truck and start your own thing? Don't you make more money like that? Yeah, but I don't have the money right now. That's why I don't do it, but I definitely want to. That's why we teaming up on the reefer side so I can stack up a little money and get my own truck. Then he's gonna start leave picking me. my own loads as an owner and uh, change the game. It's going to be a lot better. He's going to leave me? Gonna I, ain't gonna leave. I ain't going to leave him, man. I'll take him with me. I might buy two trucks. I'll put me in the truck, put him in the truck. That's that's the game plan. We're going to see. I mean, this year goes good. There's going to be some changes definitely next year, and that's yeah, the plan. I'm trying to do real good this year so I can make some changes next year. 2017 look like a good year for us, man. Tommy Lund, 25. Pierre, do a burnout in the semi truck, man. No, he gonna mess up my damn truck. He's got an automatic. You try to do some some shit like that, you mess this truck up so fast. It always, it kind of, it don't do a burnout, but it, it revs up like freaking crazy, man. Yeah, it's just. I don't know. It's just sometimes it wanna shift and sometimes it don't, and uh, <laughs> it'll it'll pull real hard. Like we got this light low right now, so it'll take off real hard on you. Let me grab my shades. Yeah. Trey songs in the building. Man, I hate coming to truck stop. Fucking people be coming in and out and shit. Like I'm about to get out. I don't even. Fuck. Got the Chris Breezies. I don't know. I'm not the patient guy out here, man. I just get it. Like, come on, man. Shit. Rocking the Chris Breezies. <laughs> Chris Breezy in the house and Trey songs. We about to make. We about to do a, a mixtape. Hey, Randy, we go this way, though. You gotta go that way. 
I was just that's just back to the truck stop. I was oh, let me get back to the comment. I was testing you. I know where the way to go. Whatever. Seatbelt. <laughs> I'm about to put my seatbelt on. Yeah, come on now, man. You're just pulling out the truck stop. You rolling forward, but uh, but can't back. Say what? Oh, he said you're rolling forward, but you can't back. Yeah, I must not watch that video where I was backing. Oh, that's one shot. It was one company. I said, shot. We're going to see how his back it is when he get behind that box trail. I don't know how it's going to be, but we're going to see. I'm going to tell you once again, I drove reefer for a year straight. I know how to back, I think. Uh, Lil Fitty. Lil solo Fitty. reefer or solo flatbed? Uh, what you talking about? Uh, Rocky Ryan. Uh, yeah. Isaiah, where y'all at? We in Little Rock, Arkansas. We've been rolling this morning, uh, shoot. We'll be in New York tomorrow, Syracuse up by Buffalo. And uh, hopefully we get another load out of there because I want to overnight it real quick for Tuesday because our pay is cut off Tuesday. Trying to stack up some revenue this week. See if this can be my biggest week on the flatbed side. Uh, Jameer, y'all brothers. Jose over here doing burnouts, man. <laughs> I ain't doing no burnout. It's automatic. I don't know why. Y'all brothers? Out. No, we not brothers. We brothers from another mother. With the related people. He's Hispanic. I'm black and white. I'm gonna tell you one son. Who's a bad? Who's a better handsome looking guy out here? Oh man, this boy. Come on now. Hands down, it's me. You know, got the glasses. I'm in the shades. It ain't. It ain't even. The sun ain't yeah, even right. out, and I'm rocking some shit. That's the ticket. Yeah. CCRBT. What do you know about having your own truck? and coming to Prime with it and leasing it on. It's gotta be uh, three years old or newer, unless you're on the logistics side, then I heard it could be seven years old or newer. For y'all people, and, I mean, that was, uh, uh, they Maverick right there. Pretty much, you can lease it on with Prime. I mean, I, if I had my own truck, I don't think I'd be leasing it on with Prime. I'd be going somewhere where I could pick my own loads. That's me personally, because, uh, I don't think that's a wise choice because they control your money and they're going to control how much you make. You go somewhere else, you can you control your outcome. Yeah, we just passed a Maverick Terminal over here in Arkansas, off of 40. Yeah, it's, it's pretty, uh, not that big, not that small, it's pretty decent size. So it's an off, no, never mind. I, I was going to say it's an all flatbed. Oh, uh, Pierre. Y'all like tandem trailers or spread axles? <laughs> I like spread axles. You can put more weight, 40,000 pounds on a flatbed. So it's a lot easier to distribute your weight and not have to worry about being overweight. And that's with the step decks and uh, flats, 48 foot or 53 foot. I like something that I can spread my axle. It's a lot easier. Yeah, I already finished, bro. Uh, Chip the Dog, where you guys at? We're in Little Rock, Arkansas. Where y'all at? Little Rock, Arkansas. <laughs> Chiquito Piedra, Arkansas. J. Rush, Frankie J, Chris Brown, laugh out loud. Yeah, man, we gonna break into the music game. We both be, we both say this all the time, like man, we wish we could sing. If we could sing, we'd oh be doing my music. God. Cause we all, man, we can't sing for shit, but we be singing though. I wish I like. I ain't I could gonna sing, show you, cause, cause it's bad. It's just bad. It's, it's horrible. Bad. Like one out of a ten, I think my singing is out of four. I say mine a little better. I say mine's about a seven. Mine's out of four. It ain't, it ain't <laughs> all there. Uh, I wish this. I, I mean, I said it's I wish probably it. more of what you sing. I think I got since I, well, my accent. I think I can sing country, but I like R&B. But I don't think I can sing R&B. I wish I had that R&B voice. Oh, yeah, I want that R&B voice. Man, you don't have any albums I could put out there. <laughs> I said out. Uh, Don Cuba. Uh, oh, hold on. Pork chop. Start. Uh, start charging traffic. Put the fear of God in them four wheelers. <laughs> Man, sometimes they piss you off and you you do that. When you try to pass somebody, like say they pass you and they slow down, or it's just one going slow and you get over to pass them and then they, they want to freaking speed up next to you. That be pissing me off. I be I be wanting to get right on that line and scare the shit out of them. These foilers, they don't care. They don't know how that truck moves and we're governed or either we got that uh that radar on the front, that, that cruise control that doesn't let you go so fast. You be wanting to do that sometimes, man, I'm telling you. Don Cuba, Randy, you still a trainer? Not anymore, man. We team driving. I'm still a trainer. Still a trainer, though. But as long as Jose's on my truck, I'm not training anybody right now. I ain't going anywhere. And uh, I don't have any plans of going back to training nobody right now. So uh, I guess that'll be a no. Uh, Clorox, Jose looking a little hesitant when he answered. 
I don't know what you were talking about. What uh, when he answered what? Must have been some other question. Yeah, he must. Isaiah. I, I, I thought you had a manual already. No, we got automatic prime transition into the automatic. So uh, oh, automatic. Really. Yeah, pretty much. You gotta pay two grand if you wanna get a manual, or you gotta be a company driver on in an older truck. And I ain't paying two grand just to drive a manual uh, shifter here at Prime. I take the automatic. I mean, it is what it is. I prefer the manual, but that's just the way all these major companies are transitioning to the automatic. It has to do something with fuel, I heard. Steven Gamble in the house. Steven! What's up, Mr. Geeks, Gamble? Man, <laughs> he calling us some geeks. Mr. Gamble. <laughs> Steven, you think you're funny, man. They're gonna check out Mr. Gamble's YouTube channel, too. Uh, Corey Rogers, we're talking going reefer. March. Check us in March. It'll probably be the second or third week of March because the first week we're going home. Jose's birthday. My birthday on the third people. Yeah, and uh, we're going to go home and um, let him go turn up. I ain't really going to turn up. If I be 26, people, I'm getting old out here. Yeah, he, he getting older slowly. Getting old. I look young, but I'm getting old, people. Steven Gamble. Randy looking like a boys to men member with those sunglasses. <laughs> yeah, man. Boys to men. We in our music thing right now. Boys to men. We want to, we, we're in that phase where we want to be some singers. We're going to start a little group, singing group. And it's going to be, it ain't a boy band. It's going to be a, a man band. Boys to Men. That's what it's called, Boys to Men. More like Jagged Edge. I don't know if y'all heard about that. Hands down, Randy is, but he needs to trade shades up. Let's trade shades. Let's, see what, let's, let's see trade. What let's trade. You put the Chris Breezy's on. I'm going back to my, my look. Oh, Lord Jesus. I think I know better than you, right? <laughs> I gotta take this damn do-rag off. Yeah, I mean, they had it on all morning. Ways on, ways on point. Yeah, they, they on point now. They're probably on point. As y'all can see, I cut my hair. It was kind of nappy. Not nappy, but it was kind of long. Yeah, you got a haircut last night. I got a haircut last night. Go ahead, Joe. I cut my own hair, so I ain't cut, I ain't cut it in a few days. Luckily, it was open when I cut I it. I need an edge up, though. Man, this shades look kind of weird when I look outside. It's kind of yellow. Yeah, they do look a little weird, huh? Yeah, what are you looking out of them? That one's the they feel a little weird because they're so small. It's just round. Don't look at these Chris Breezy's people. Is he rocking the Chris Breezy's gun? No, I ain't feeling this Chris Breezy's. Orlando Jose, say something in Spanish. Let him know you speak Spanish, man. Que paso, hermano? Que quieres saber? Say something a little more difficult. Some difficult. Uh, say like a long sentence. Estamos aquí. Vamos a ir a Nueva York. Uh, estoy manejando yo. Uh, Reaper, uh, Randy no sabe español, yo puedo decir lo que yo quiero. Yo soy Randy Lewis. <laughs> Randy no sabe manejar, yo soy el mejor manejador. Y cuando de reversa, yo soy el mejor también. Randy no sabe español, so yo puedo decir lo que no yo mames, quiero. No mames, güey. Poquito. Poquito. Me, me gustan las micheladas. Steven Gamble, that's what she said. <laughs> he got the jokes today, man. Miss Gamble. Yeah. Where you at, Steven? Where you at, Mr. Gamble? You still, is you in Oklahoma? Did you get that, uh, or is you headed over there yet? Jeffrey Wolf. Jeffrey Wolf. You both of you. What does that mean? Um, uh, I gotta go back and see what he said. 22. I don't know, uh, I don't know what you're talking about, you both of you. You can re-ask re it, or re, re say it. Fuck that typo. Yeah, maybe. Uh, XT, three times OG, they better have a hip hop station on XM. Man, they got multiple hip hop stations. They sure do. XM sound like radio guy. They got like a whole bunch of stations. Every station that you can think of. It's something for everybody on this. So it's plenty of stuff. You definitely find a hip hop station. Uh, it's like four or five hip hop stations. Yeah, they do. But uh, at night, I drive night shit, so uh, well, some kind of night shit. They, they play the repetitive songs over and over. Yeah. But in the day, it's better in the day because they have like, uh, like live talks and stuff like that. So it's pretty good. All right, Cam said uh, a man has to know his limitations. What does that mean? Uh, let me see what he said before. We, that's the ticket. I don't know. I mean, y'all comments getting uh, <laughs> they get so uh, uh, we change the subject so much that it's, it's hard to keep track of the comments. Come on, Randy, get on the game, man. get on the ball. Four rocks, please. Hunt the horn, Jose. Nah, we gotta, nah, not right now. We don't want to scare the traffic around us. Okay, no, nah, we got a swift driver. Because it's a truck right here, and this swift might think we're blowing the hill while we're trying to pass it. 
I don't want him running us off the road. He might be a little aggravated because he's driving swift. <laughs> you govern? Yeah, we governed in 60, 64. Prime cheating me out of one damn mile per hour. We're supposed to be 65. On the cruise but control, it's that 65. I was racing Steven. He got a Freightliner, and Steven was blowing me out the water with that one mile per hour with his Freightliner. So he cheated me. Steven, you know how I do, Randy? With my swerve trick. <laughs> okay, Steven. Sorry, Mr. Man. Floor bleach about back. And let me go back and see uh, what he said. Oh, they looking a little hesitant when he asked. Oh, okay, you talking about your back. When I back? Yeah, you say you were hesitant when you, your answer about backing or something. Oh, whenever we was back, they talking about that. I got you. Tem tempo. All right, Robert, uh, in 2013, my dad was cut off by a four-wheeler. He had to choose between the car or the wood, so he took the wood and totaled the truck, and the company fired him for that. It depends on the situation uh, on why he got fired, but that was a smart move, definitely by taking the woods and not harming anybody, because uh, it could have been real bad if he would have hit the car or anything. That's why it's good to have cameras on your trucks nowadays, and uh, oh, that just camera. as soon as I get a little bit of money, I'm gonna put a camera system on my mirrors and everything to watch myself all around my truck, just for that reason. Because cars always cutting us off and always doing something to uh, harm big trucks and, and we take the hit for it. So you gotta cover yourself with these, put a dash cam or something. Yeah, I'll protect yourself at all times. Don Cuba, you and Jose should uh, have got that steak at the terminal the other day. Yeah, man, I had plenty of those steaks. I get a ribeye every time. Well, not every time, but almost every time I go through the terminal. I mainly only get it if I like the sides. If they got some good sides to go with it, then I get me a nice steak, but that shit's expensive. That's the, it's hard to get because it's so expensive. Matter of fact, uh, yesterday we ate some. Uh, was it yesterday? Yesterday we went to a barbecue joint. Yeah, we hit a barbecue joint yesterday. I took some uh, took some pictures and everything. If you got me on Snapchat, we put it on Snapchat and everything, what we was eating and everything. But yeah, Randy, uh, I'm saving all my pictures and everything so I can put together some type of video of all the food places we ate. But that's the fourth barbecue joint we hit. And so far, the best one you know, was in Oregon. Oregon. Hands down, Oregon. Yeah, I don't know Oregon the name of it. Oregon dominate the barbecue right oh now. Oh, my God. They killed it over there, man. I'm sure we didn't stop at the best place in Texas, but Texas is definitely known for barbecue. How was that? That was not that bad. That place went to was not that bad. It was all right. No, it wasn't that bad, but but out of the four places, Oregon is dominating Oregon. the yeah. best best meal so far on the barbecue side. And it's small, but you get full real fast, though. Just... Uh, pork chop. I must be ancient. Then I'm 30 and 31. Man, you barely older than me. 31. You ain't ancient. Man, we ain't. Pierre, you guys are funny as fuck. <laughs> Appreciate that, Pierre, we're man. We trying to we trying to keep you guys interested in everything. Yeah. We definitely don't want to be boring. I mean, it wouldn't be anything good to watch. I think it's pretty cool because it's two of us and everything. And most guys is just one person on their channel. So we try to do something a little different. Uh, Tommy Lund. I said I wanted to see more driving videos and I got it with that uh, life chat. Cool, man. We definitely gonna do more actual driving where I film the road too. Uh, once I get my GoPro up and running, I need a SD card for it. And uh, I gotta get my computer where I can start editing and stuff. But I'm gonna start shooting more driving videos. And Jose said he got me a dash cam. So whenever we get back to Houston, we gonna pick that up. We gonna throw that up. So we gonna put up a I should be able to include a driving video in all my videos once I get all that set up. Yeah, I got him a little, little Christmas present. Steven, uh, what you know about that jagged edge, Jose? You're still wet behind the ears, man. <laughs> that line that? is curvy as shit, Jose. <laughs> Who's that? I guess you was too busy getting busy with the uh, barber. <laughs> Damn, let me see your edge up. Look at me. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I can't tell if it's curvy. I guess on the camera it looked curvy. Uh, oh shit, it is curvy on the camera. Damn. Yeah, okay, I see it better. Oh man, I see it now. It, it ain't that straight across the front. Get in my hoodie. Get in my hoodie. You gonna put your back, toboggan back on? Cover my edge up. What's <laughs> the camera over Steven here? Steven pointing out stuff. Oh man, Steven, why you gotta put him on blast like that? I know, Steven, what's up with that? Uh, I ain't going to back to sound like that. And Steven, anymore. you the same, man. He just Jose over here talking about uh, wet behind the ears. You wet behind the ears too, man. Y'all some youngsters. Uh, Cam Robinson makes Jose look uh, a stun. Stun? A stun? Aston? I, I think know. you uh, misspelled that. I think you did. 
Pork chop, uh, uh, he's put this in Spanish. Hogar con Manuela Mas Carde said. How well can he know? Hell yeah, yeah. Boy, I can read Spanish. What y'all know about that? I took Spanish in high school and college. Manuela. I can read <laughs> somewhat. I can't, I can't really know what that is, understand, but I know how to read it. I'll tell bit. you, I'll tell you, that's kind of rated R stuff. <laughs> A lot of people don't need to know what that is. Uh, oh, Isaiah over here in Texas. The wind is crazy, man. Heck I heard yeah. it was raining in Houston. Man. We was on our way to, to Laredo. That wind was blowing so damn hard and crazy. It was it was making me mad because it was just pushing sideways on the truck so hard. But yeah, that wind was crazy down there when we was down there too. But that weather was nice. It got up to what 85 degrees before yeah. we left. Oh, I miss it already. I miss it already. 85 degrees. Um, 
Memphis, Tennessee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying that in Memphis, Tennessee. In about hundred and we're gonna be in Memphis. So about an hour and a half. I don't know what I'm saying. That uh, Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, right. Yes, because uh, you're behind on your comments. Yeah, I know. Stephen Gamble, you will get Swifty, Swifty. Oh, Swiftly, Swifty. <laughs> what does that mean, Mr. Gamble? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Corey Rogers, uh, ready to start doing uh, daily vlogs, man. Yeah, we're gonna do. We're gonna start that. Uh, maybe not right now, but when we switch to the reefer, we're gonna do daily vlogs for sure. But right now on the flatbed side, I still want to put out flatbed videos. But uh, we're, we're trying to do something daily. But uh, I don't know if we're gonna do daily vlogs. But we're definitely gonna try to do something daily once we're switched over to the reefer. So look for that in March for something to come every day from us. For me going to sleep, from Randy waking up, for me going to brush my teeth, <laughs> for me putting on that, uh, what is that called, that face mask? Uh, yeah, he do the face mask now. T. Robbins, uh, now y'all got to go to uh, the Billy Sims Barbecue in Oklahoma all 40. Okay, well, uh, well, about to look that up. Let me write that down. What is it called? Billy, Billy Sims Barbecue. So next time we over that way, we can try it out, but we definitely try to hit barbecue all over the place. That's like our favorite thing yeah, to eat. Yeah, that barbecue. Man, uh, Besides yeah. tacos. I gotta get I, I gotta get ready to uh, some Mexican restaurants too. We went to the, uh, what's it, Odessa? We went to a uh, Mexican restaurant, it was pretty good. Oh yeah, we hit up, uh, the Uber driver said it was one of the two best places in Odessa. This Mexican restaurant we went to. La Bodega. Yeah, La, was it? La, La Bodega. La Bodega. La Bodega Mexican restaurant. It was uh, it was hella good. Yeah, it was pretty good. Uh, TJ Reese, JL's Barbecue in Pryor, Oklahoma is pretty good. Uh, I know we go through Pryor quite a bit. Let me write that down. That's off of uh, 69. JL's
BET, what does your son think about you teaming, Randy? My son, uh, he don't really think nothing of it. I mean, they uh, they know I'm a truck driver. They don't. They know I train guys and stuff, but he don't really think anything of me uh, teaming or anything. They stay with school, so. Oh, they lost signal again. Uh, XT three times. Hopefully, then 2018 Freightliners be there when I go to Prime. Yeah, they uh they gonna be coming in definitely. So. Uh, but I don't think. Uh, they not coming in to at least March, so. I don't know if it's gonna be any available because once they come in, everybody gonna grab them real quick. Everybody that's leasing is gonna be getting those, so uh, I don't know uh, if they're gonna be any available. Hopefully. Well, I, I don't know if new students get that. Uh, Robert, is it true that 18 year olds can get their CDL? Yes, it's true. Uh, at least for Texas, and I'm not sure what other states. I've heard from a few people now they say yes, but you can only drive within that state. Yeah, you can't go all the And uh, at 18, I doubt you're going to get a job anywhere unless you actually know the person you're driving for. Well, get it. It's better to get it than, you know, once you turn 21, you can go somewhere. Uh, Everardo, que Dios los bendiga en su camino. All right, thank you. Yeah, man, definitely, man. Y'all, we'll be safe out here, man. Tommy, uh, 11.30 a.m. is a good time to start the live chat on the weekend. See you next live chat, guys. All right, well, cool, we'll Tommy. keep that in mind. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely keep that in mind for the weekends when we do stuff. Try to do it at an earlier time like that. CCRBT, uh, try that Loretta Lynn's restaurant off 40 in Tennessee. Pretty good. Uh, I should be able to remember that. Okay, yeah, we're going to try that uh, Loretta Lynn's. Uh, I've been through that area quite a bit, so... I never stop, but we're gonna we're gonna try to check it out next time we go through there. Oh, it's another place that I had been in uh, Tennessee and Crossville, Tennessee, where my grandparents live. It's a it's a barbecue, it's a barbecue joint. Uh, man, I forgot the name of it, but it's right next to the pilot, so I go there. I've been there like three, four times. Uh, NW Screw 63. How long does it take to cross the USA coast to coast? Three, three days, or three and a half, depending on where you're going. If you're just going like from North Carolina to uh, California, it's like three days flat. But if you're going from like North Carolina to like the Northeast, it might be three and a half days. I'm talking about solo. Or? or if you're going from like Washington to somewhere in Florida, it might be three and a half to four days. Team, this team driving. Solo, it's about five days. Cause it's about 3,000 miles one way. But uh, you can move pretty good to cross the country. Uh, Steven, since y'all are going reefer, we have a couple of Tysons in Rogers, Arkansas, and right up the street, there is a bomb ass barbecue spot called uh, Smoking Joe's. That sounds good. Okay. Smoking Joe. Smoking Joe, yeah, that do sound good. Y'all making me hungry already. I know. I want, I'm, it's, it's already lunchtime. We ain't having eight, so. Yeah, we haven't eight. I eat like a little. I'm on some barbecue right now. For breakfast and stuff. And uh, one of them is. Uh, Isaiah, how long do you uh, each of you drive? So we About have, ten to eleven hours. Oh, how long? Depending do we on uh, how how fast we gotta get somewhere or how far away we are. If we're not that far, we might dr drive a little bit, maybe eight to nine hours, and then the other person will drive a little bit or something. Cause we we drive shift work, so it just depends on the the load we're on. Like right now, we got about twelve hundred miles left. And Jose's gonna drive about 600 to 650 miles, and I'm just gonna drive whatever's left overnight in the morning. We got 10 points. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, Pierre, I'm eating milk and cookies watching y'all. <laughs> Dude, too Come on, crazy. Pierre. We we your weekend entertainment right now, Pierre. Robert, uh, my dad's boss is gonna let me drive a day cab around Kentucky. Cool, man. You got the hookup already. Yeah, you might. Have been, yeah. So, uh, yeah, you got it made. Get in that day cab, you get that experience and everything, and that's just gonna make it even better if you decide to go over the road. That'd be great. I lost the comments in the live chat. Jose phone went out. Let me see if I can get in any new comments. I got so, spray people, that sucks. I think it, I think the comments ended, I'm not sure. That's the last comment I see. It looked like everybody dropping out and everything. It's been going quite a while. We're probably gonna go ahead and wrap it up. And I'm gonna go ahead and edit that video and try to drop that because uh, it's close to my bedtime since I finished driving. I got to go to sleep here pretty soon. I didn't get any sleep last night. Before I got to drive tonight, so I definitely got to get some sleep. Uh, Miss Singh, what do you guys think about the long nose pleats and the W9s? Man, I love them. That's, uh, that's my dream truck, the W9. If I can get the money together,
together and actually afford to buy that truck, that's the truck I want to have. I want that W9. Jose like the Peets. So I think he drove along those Peets before. Yeah, so. Yeah, he drove one. Man, we love those trucks. That's like the perfect truck. I think they're the best trucks on the road. Do the lives every 
day. I mean, if we can, we might we might start doing it every day. Yeah. Whenever we right at that switching point, we might we might can do something. Yeah, we can, we'll we can see what we can out. do. We can try to work it out. Yeah, we we'll see what we can do. That, that, that will be pretty cool. We're gonna try. We, we'll see. We'll try. Ain't happen. no guarantee. Uh, Ryder, I have to find a pick. He drove in uh, 2005 to 2007. Okay. Yeah, try to find it, man. I want to see that. It might be look nice. Rusty Sim, that is Texas Truck 389. Uh, what are you talking about? You must have another comment on You're top. probably talking about somebody else's comment. Uh, Don Cuba, you and Jose be safe on the road. Don't, uh, LWT, no four-wheelers. <laughs> Get to you. Get ready for your uh, drive, Randy. Yeah, I ain't got to drive for about a good 12, uh, probably about 11 hours from now. So I got plenty of time to give me some sleep and everything. Jose, Jose going to be holding it down for a while because he just started his ship. And he's going to stop take a 30-minute break. Of course, he's going to stop go to the restroom, stop and eat and stuff. So it'll add up to about 11, 12 hours before I got to drive. It'll probably be about 2 o'clock in the morning before I take over. But, uh, yeah, we out for today. If we feeling filling up to it tomorrow, uh, after we get unloaded and everything, we're doing our live. Maybe tomorrow afternoon or something. We might we'll probably jump on another live. We gotta see because it's a weekday, so most people work and everything. So I don't want to start it too early, but I don't want to start it too late because I gotta be asleep at a certain time. Try to get my rest. But yeah, we catch you guys uh, tomorrow. If not, we'll put up a video or something for you guys to watch. But thanks for sticking in there and watching with us and everything. Appreciate everybody watching. Everybody have a good day and everything. Enjoy your Sunday. Sunday fun day, baby. We out here working and rolling. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Doses. Let's see what, uh, who was that? Steven just said something. Mr. Campbell? All right. Jeffrey, good guys. All right. Steven, peace out. Y'all nothing but love, Jose. South. Just messing with you. What's like you always, y'all need anything, hit me up. Cool, Steven, man. We know, man. It's all good on our side, man. You be careful and be safe out there, too. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.